to do a quick kind of synopsis of my first experiences with the Waka Billy Goat. Uh, I am an intermediate paddler, about 135 pounds, so I consider myself to be right in the, the kind of sweet spot for the weight range on this boat. I've done about six laps in it so far, mostly um, class three and three plus stuff. And there's our obligatory count cameo. What's up, dude? You match the boat. This boat is fast. It's really quick, um, which is kind of to be expected given that it's relatively narrow and long. Um, and I also think the bow rocker on it is really good. Um, edge transitions, again, helped by it being narrow. We'll take a look at the underside here in a bit, but the edges are typical waka, so relatively sharp. It surfs super well. surprised by how nice the Waka outfitting was. I did put together a pretty long, thorough, full outfitting kind of setup video, so you can check that out if you're interested. Now, those are the pros for me. As far as the cons go, the thing that I noticed right away um, was the stern is relatively low, but I think even more than that, it has a, a parting line that's pretty far back so you can kind of see it's like all the way back here just pretty far away from the back of the cockpit combing whereas you can even catch it from here the Machno that parting line on the Machno is much earlier and sweeps up at a much higher angle so it does create a longer effective water line for the Billy which helps make it fast but it also makes it a little unforgiving The other thing I noticed is that the edges, if you're kind of make a mistake and you're trying, you're getting pulled off line, they can be hard to disengage. So it holds a line really well, but it's not necessarily super forgiving. Um, and then for me, so those are the two main ones as far as paddling goes. And then the other thing for me was that the carrying was rough. I added um, some foam underneath this spot because for me I'm carrying it basically right here it's this like sharp plastic edge um, the hip pad is pretty firm and then the other piece to the carrying that I didn't dig was that it's got kind of like a cutout in here on the foam pillar and so you can either put your hand in that or around the front of it but it's not tapered at all and so your hand is holding something that's like pretty wide. I noticed after carrying my ozone, they taper it, they kind of cut it down. Um, and then like on the Machno, you've got that plastic pillar and they're much smaller. So your hand can wrap around them, which always makes holding something a bit easier. And then the other one that I noticed just minor is that the foot space up in there, because the boat is fairly narrow, is kind of tight in a size 11, 510 water tenny. So it kind of drives my heel into the bottom of the boat. Initially, I mentioned I was about 135 pounds. Weight range on this thing is critical. I think personally, the ideal weight range is probably 100 to 150, maybe 155. Um, most of the people I know who have been putting theirs up for sale are way, weighing more like 160 and up and have not really been happy with the performance. So, Speaking of others, uh, I want to share a little bit of the feedback that about four other people provided me about their experience with these boats. So overall, the pros they listed were boofing, 
uh, really good on skip outs, that it ferries really well and holds a line super well, definitely fast, that it surfs well, and one um, shout out to it rolling pretty easily. Now the cons and why some of these people sold them. So three people uh, commented on the lack of secondary stability. stern being grabby was pointed out by multiple people as well as the issues that I noticed with disengaging the rails if you make a mistake and kind of start getting pulled offline. Overall people's comments were that it is a sporty creaker. One person called it a race boat and multiple people commented on it not being as advertised. And so that's sort of a whole different ball of wax. Uh, I actually took a look at Waka's website. They said they take the best of the OG and the Stees and create the ultimate creaking machine for those 45 to 75 kilograms, which is 100 to 165 pounds. So I thought that was kind of interesting because the spec is actually different than that. The spec currently on the website that I saw was 45 to 85 kilograms, which is like closer to 190 pounds and I've seen it listed as high as 200. And then they also say that it seems to have a very wide weight range and has incredible performance throughout the weight range. And I would say that is just definitely not true. Um, if anybody's watched Wade's video on it yet, they've seen him catching edges and he mentioned he thinks specifically 150 pounds and under is the weight range for this boat. And to quote one of his uh, comments to his YouTube video, he says the damn back edge had me flailing around and that 200 pounds on the weight range is a stretch. So take that all for what it's worth. And another piece from the Waka website is that they comment on the boat having an easy change of direction at speed. And I can sort of see that because the boat definitely performs better if it has a lot of speed. Uh, but I would say change of direction is not like a super easy thing in this boat. And the last thing they comment on is that it has the classic super friendly Waka platform. And uh, that's sort of what I was hoping for. And I know others were as well, that it would be more like a small OG. And that's really not the case. It is not nearly, I think, as friendly a boat as the OG tends to be talked about as. I, I've never paddled one. I'm, I'm too light to be in one, but... I would sort of just prefer that they made a small OG that was narrower um, and then maybe add a little length because the OG seems a little short. Little comparison, Machno side by side with the Billy here. Um, the stern, not going to be able to see quite as well from this angle, which is why I showed it earlier, but you can definitely tell it's much lower. And take a peek at the bow so you can see the difference in the rocker. It's definitely more rocker with the Billy. And I think you may be able to see that kind of from this side as well. The uh, billy is about five inches longer, eight foot ten versus eight foot five on the Machno. Pretty similar in width. Billy's like about a half an inch narrower. One thing that I noticed while paddling it is that that cockpit combing height is much higher. So the whole boat, you kind of feel like you sit up more, but you can really see it from here. And the really supportive back band, along with that higher um, combing height, makes for, in my opinion, an, a more difficult roll in the boat. It's not hard to roll. Um, it just feels kind of slower, and you can't get over the back quite the same way because the Machnos and a lot of Piranha boats have a really nice low deck height right behind your, your waist, and then they're... Um, back band also is kind of pretty flexible and sits low the piranha opening is longer but narrower where the billy is pretty wide and so i have a an ir royale ran skirt and was thinking it was going to be easier with the 
the billy and it's actually a bit harder to get on um, because it is such a wide opening. And you've got these really nice deep thigh hooks on the waka and piranha's thigh hooks definitely aren't as wide or aren't as deep normally. This one I've added the hooker on there and I do really like that. It gives um, a fairly similar effect, but I would say the nod goes to the billy on that one. All right, so here's a comparison of the underside. You can see that the waka rails are definitely much sharper, which we would expect. Um, and then they also carry all the way back basically to the very end of the stern, which considering it has that low parting line, um, makes sense for why it could be pretty grabby. The other thing that makes sense is we can see looking at the Machno that it's got kind of this angle to it where the billy tends to be a little straighter up and down. That's gonna make a huge difference in secondary stability. And I did wanna make at least a brief comment about how um, this boat's been paddling in comparison to the Alpha 75. I paddled that boat about six times before I sold it. You know, very different hull, much more displacement, had a lot of rocker, um, especially in the bow. But if you follow the underside of the boat, like this boat has a lot of kind of flat hull in the middle and the Alpha really did not have that. You could take a couple strokes in flat water with that thing and it would just keep spinning in circles. And for me, that resulted in it kind of spinning out unexpectedly when I didn't want it to at times. So it didn't really work for my style. I also noticed the stern was a little bit grabby. Um, and that is something I've seen here too. And in both of them, you know, it, it has a lot to do with the speed that you're carrying. So if you have them up to speed, that stern is a lot less in play. It was my first Liquid Logic boat and it had really tough plastic. Like I was amazed at how little um, wear it was showing. It also had the weight to go with it though. So that boat, which was a pretty close, I think it might've been the same length as this boat, maybe an inch or two different, was 50 pounds. Whereas this boat weighed in for me at 45 pounds and the Machno, the small Machno, the same. They both weighed exactly 45 when I weighed them myself. Okay, so final thoughts. I consider it to be an intermediate to advanced design for lighter paddlers. I would consider it a fast, sporty creaker, and it rewards aggressive paddling. So the two things that really make this boat shine are carrying speed, uh, which it does well because it is so quick, and making sure that you are staying on top of it. Um, it holds a line well, but once it starts to get offline, it can be difficult to correct. And it also favors a forward aggressive paddling position because that helps keep the stern from hanging up. So overall, not super forgiving, definitely not a beginner boat. Um, it is not a small OG as much as uh, I think a lot of us might have wished that would be what we were gonna get. That is not what it is. I'm not sure if it's gonna work for me long-term or not. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about it right now, but I am interested in something for kind of step-up runs and being able to push myself, and I'm not sure if this is gonna be the boat for that. So time will tell. Do some follow-up comments at some point down the road. And count says bye-bye. Gypsy Queen